Hello everyone, how are you doing today? In this video, I will teach you how to add ChatGPT into your own Twitch chat. I know it sounds really difficult, but don't worry, that's why I'm here to guide you through every single step of the way. Okay, now first step, you need to go to github.com and let's sign up. Welcome to GitHub, let's begin the adventure. Now, now let's enter our email. Let's go create a password. Uh, okay, our password is strong. And our username, it's going to be you setting it, right? Uh, would you like to receive product updates? No. And create accounts. I copy the verification code, passed, and let's go. Now that we have our account, the first thing that I'm going to do is go to settings, appearance, and select night theme. That's one of the most important things, at least to me. You can find now on this, the description of this video, this, this GitHub link, okay? And what we are going to do is to fork the project. So we click here on fork, and now we are going to naming Usetingas Twitch Chat GPT. Okay, creating repo. Okay, perfect. Now we have our account. The only thing that you need to do is to go to the file context and you can see here we have already some text you are a twitch bot answering user prompts while impersonating the streamer i am setting a general of age of empires now answer the user prompts based on the inf given information be polite and funny to everyone so let's write a little bit more okay You know, I have some texts about myself, I also have here my YouTube channel. This is really important because you can tailor everything on it. So let's do commit changes. Now next step is click here, deploy to cyclic. This is really important because we need an endpoint. So authorize cyclic software, blah blah blah, and click connect. Careful, select this one. Okay, approve and install. Now you can see here, don't worry, this is not any hacking, okay? This is just a deploy machine. First things first, we are going to activate the dark theme. Sorry guys, I am a dark theme slave. Let me know if you also like dark themes. Now you can see here, every time that you update your GitHub repo, you are going to see all of your deployments on log files, you are going to see a description here. And now we are going to go to the variables. And you can see, we need an OpenAI API key. Let's take care of that. What we are going to do is to go to openai.com. You can see here in developers, you are going to go to overview. And you see, I already created an account and you need to create one too. What we are going to do is to click in here, view API keys. And now you can see that I don't have any API key. So you need to create a new secret key and now you click here to copy it. Now let's get back to our cyclic, pass the, your key here and click save. Now that we have our OpenAI API key, you can see a link here, right? You click on it and you see it outputs a message called yo. What you are going to do is to copy this URL and now in the description, you are going to copy the command to replace your URL to the new one. And now we are going to enter the command usetingas has been added successfully. And now we are going to do usetingas. How are you? Hey there, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. Setingas, what is your YouTube channel? You can find here your YouTube channel. Okay, perfect. And now let's see. Setingas, do you have any pets? No, I don't currently have any pets, but I did have a cat named Rico who was a ragdoll before. And now let's ask some information that is not on our context. O setinhas, what is a ragdoll? A ragdoll is a type of cat with a calm and sweet disposition. They are known for their playful, relaxed personalities and are great companions. Now guys, I hope that you have a really nice time with these chatbots. Don't forget, leave a like, subscribe and have fun with your, now, with your new capabilities.